Hey everyone, welcome to this little short video I'm making. Um, a lot of people build plastic models and um, it's a great hobby. And a little trick I'm about to show you, I'm sure there's a lot of people who already know this trick. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who know this trick, but this video is geared towards those who don't. So let's get right to it. So every model comes mounted on these plastic racks. All the pieces, as you can see, I have some leftover pieces from the model I was building. And um, they're there, you know, just a, it's a mold that they make to keep the parts in place so they don't get lost. And uh, they're all numbered so that you can coordinate them with the instructions. Um, so a lot of times these racks, once the model parts are removed, they get discarded, which is fine. But I'm just going to show you a little trick where you can use these uh, racks to uh, enhance and uh, improve your model building experience. So one of the first things I've done, I learned, uh, I learned this trick a long time ago. If you take a piece of that model rack, for example, and just cut a little piece off, so you got yourself a little straight piece there, you know. So what you can do with this, of course, there's, I'll show you several tricks. So say if you wanted to, say if you're building a car, for example, and you wanted to um, make a, uh, say a, a, a radiator hose or something along those lines. So because this plastic is made out of the same material as the model, it's completely compatible with the model uh, in regards to gluing it in place and what have you. But let's, let's, let's just, uh, for example, we're going to make a small radiator hose, just a, um, you know, just a bended hose. Uh, which can be painted black afterwards. So you heat this up with the lighter, just very slightly, not much, just until it gives you enough that you can bend it. So you put a little bend there, give it a minute to cool. So it takes a couple of seconds to cool. If you want, you could have a little glass of water or something standing by. So once you get the bend you want, just dip it into the water to cool it quickly. Okay, so there's our first bend. And uh, let's do another one. It will discolor the plastic a little bit, but that's no big deal. It's not going to hurt it in any way. So there we go. So we've made a mock-up of, let's say, a radiator hose or a... Uh, some sort of a, maybe an exhaust or something that needs to be fitted. If you know if you're into customizing your models, this this is a neat little trick. So but there's one little piece I've done, just by heating it up. The black discoloration is no big deal. It'll go away once you paint the part, and uh, it will, you know. So because it's also again because it's made out of the same plastic as the model, it's completely compatible to glue in place. So that's one piece. So our next piece. Our next little trick I'm going to show you is uh, when you want to make wiring or lines, like fuel lines or brake lines or anything like that, say for a model car or any kind of extra wiring that's not included with the model, here's another little trick you can do. So you heat your plastic back up again and let it get nice and warm until it starts to actually bend and you pull it apart. Now, how much you pull will basically give you the thickness of your wire. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the ends. Now these, this actually has two purposes. Oh, that one broke because I stretched it a little bit too far. So no big deal. It's just broke a little bit. But see, now you have a piece that you can use to make wiring, spark plug wires, um, fuel lines, brake lines, and again, I'll just break off another piece here, and uh, just to show you, you know, um, that's a thin piece, but if you just heat it up just enough, not much, and a little bit more, there we go, and you pull it apart a little slower, you can adjust the thickness so once that's cooled, again, you can use a glass of water or something handy to cool it. And there you go. So now you got a little thicker piece. Try and get that into the shade there so you can see it better. So you got a little thicker piece, and it's a little more sturdy, as you can see. 
it's a little more sturdy it actually holds its shape pretty good so there's another little trick now that's not it though so you got these little end pieces here right which are sticking on you know you've already got your wire cut the length you want and you've got these little end pieces left over now these are great for doing detail painting like when you have to do buttons and switches and stuff like that these are great just dip it into the paint get a little tiny bit on the tip oh, sorry get a little tiny bit of that on the tip and then you can use it for touching into areas that are very small like on the uh, the switches on the dashboard of a car the radio buttons stuff like that so whatever color you want to paint those you just dip this in and it gives you a little precision point and if you cut it on an angle it gets even pointier so you can actually get a really good sharp tip with that without having to go out and buy all kinds of other equipment like I did <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, these, you know, the model racks are great for things other than just holding on the model parts. Um, you know, you don't even have to bend them. In some cases, you might just want a straight piece of plastic or something. I've used these in many cases for making spark plug wires, fuel lines, brake lines, extra exhaust parts that weren't included in some cases. Um, Wiring harnesses, if you're really into building like you know precision and, and wanting accuracy, you could use this to build yourself an entire wiring harness because each piece of thread, thread can be painted uh, the color you want. And then you uh, mash them all together to make a wiring harness. You know, if you got those large scale car models, a lot of times they don't come with those details. So here you go you can make your own and um, yeah so that's about it sorry for the length of the video I just wanted to put it across to everyone so before you throw away your model rack the parts that the parts come on think about what you can do with it before you do because it can create a lot of extra tools and parts that can allow you to customize your model better than you've ever done it before. So just something to keep in mind before you throw this stuff away, you know, the things that you can do with it. So there, thank you for watching and uh, I hope this helps those who never knew this before, obviously. And again, if you knew about this, that's great. Um, maybe you could put a little comment and uh, add on to what I'm saying. If you have any extra ideas to add in, um, but I just appreciate, you know, no, um, no trolling my video. I understand a lot of people probably know this trick for years, but this video is for those who don't. So I thank you again for watching and, uh, take care.